All right, I'm going to add my a can of Rotel with some green chili and then a can of diced tomatoes. So let's go ahead and do the diced chili and then my tomatoes. Now this is going to be a quick and easy crock pot dish that you and your family will be able to enjoy on any day. All right, next up I have some cheddar cheese soup. Now, if you don't want to use the cheddar cheese soup, you could always just opt in and get to a bigger bag of cheddar um, cheese. Um, you could do sharp, mild. Um, some people do not like the consistency or they think that this taste is a little fake to them. Um, but honestly, y'all, it's just, it's good. So if you don't like it, that sucks for you. It's more for me, <laughs> if I'm being honest. All right, so we're going to add some pre-cooked ground beef that I left the oils in so it can marinate with the hash browns. All right, we're going to, yes. All right, and then we've got to add the taco seasoning. Now, this is going to be the only seasoning that we are going to be using today. I know, the only I know some of y'all probably thinking he always be using X, Y, and Z, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, season it. Nope, today we are just using this good old bad boy right here. Now y'all like these one pan dishes. This is a one pan crock pot where you just toss everything on in it. And it's going to come out delicious. Alright, we're going to add some daisy sour cream. Now you can never go wrong with daisy. Daisy always comes through. When we need her, let me see, let me go ahead and just like that, y'all. We're going to empty out this entire thing. Now, this is only eight ounces, so this is only one cup. It looks like a lot. Every time I use um, all the sour cream, I'm like, ooh, because I know the calories, but then I'm like, this is only one cup. So I'm like, okay, don't trip too much. Don't trip too much. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to mix all of our ingredients uh, no it's not on no i burned myself yesterday on this crock pie i will always remember now i did not like that feeling at all all right poor jess she got branded Lord. All right, you guys, this is what we kind of want. We want it to kind of look like this light orange. You see the seasoning flakes in it. I don't know if you guys see the diced um, tomatoes. This is exactly what we want in here. So, okay, I'm going to mix, mix, mix. Go ahead and get as much residue out. Now we're going to add our cheese and open up this bag I'm gonna put a nice layer let me go ahead and smooth it out now you can eat this by itself or you could crack some eggs on it when it's done um, I just love like Hispanic spices Mexican spices with some eggs mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so I got my Mexican style four blended cheese. Perfect. Sprinkle that all around. And then for our crunch, I'm gonna add some Fritos. Put that on the top so it doesn't fully um, get soggy on the inside. Perfect. Now this is going to come out delicious. Now I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper. Again, the cheese is going to melt it up, so it's going to be embedded in the cheese. Don't be shy. And just a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, just a little. Perfect. Alright, you guys. Now we're going to leave this on high and let this sit for two hours. 
That's gonna be good. I'll leave this on high, just like that. Alright, and we'll be back, y'all. It's gonna come out super creamy. Alright, you guys, it is starting to smell delicious in here and it's bubbling, so we're gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up. Yes. Yes, sir. We got still got our crunch. Let's go and dive in. Ooh, let me get this piece right here. Mmm. Y'all, look at that. Oh, ooh. Mmm, this look good. Y'all, it's just cheesy. Hash browns are cooked. Ground beef is rolling. Let me get some of this cheese. My mouth is watering. Whew. We gotta blow this. Mmm. I know I took a little bite, but you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the Mexican pizza at Taco Bell. That's exactly what it tastes like. Mmm. Yeah. This tastes exactly like the Mexican pizza. Now, I've always wondered this would be delicious with some extra, like, more salsa, like the Taco Bell mild salsa. Some sour cream. Mm-hmm. Y'all, this is so delicious. Now you can substitute the meat instead of doing ground beef. You could do steak, you could do chicken, because this right here is delicious. So good with the potatoes, and then that crunch of the Fritos. Mm-hmm. Still got that flavoring. Just perfect. Go ahead and make this for you and your family.